My name is Kevin McGuire, and I'm an instructor in the John M. Thompson Center for Engineering Leadership and Innovation. I'm here to talk to you about a novel approach to many operations management uh, process queuing problems. Application of the solutions I'm going to describe to you may very well provide the efficiency advantages your organization is looking for. An engineer by profession, I have an interest in queuing applications that are typically Poisson models, which apply equations generated from Taylor series expansions. My interest in these areas of math were inspired by the problems I would come across in the private sector related to electric vehicle charging infrastructure. Notably in society's journey to electrify the automotive industry, understanding queuing theory was important to me as I had to explain to potential clients how to plan EV infrastructure. These equations I reference were tools I applied in explaining why it was often okay for a period of time, typically several years in a large EV infrastructure investment, to allow internal combustion engine vehicles to occasionally park at electric vehicle parking installations without fear of running out of charging resources. Flash forward now to the COVID-19 pandemic. In September of 2020, like so many of my colleagues, my curiosity turned towards the pandemic with an eye towards how I might be able to contribute. At that time, I read an article in the Lancet Public Health that inspired me to start an Excel spreadsheet and make some calculations. The article I was reading was on the topic of contact tracing efficiency. With my background in queuing theory to color my view of the article, it appeared to me after, after creating for myself that afternoon a rudimentary model that an opportunity might be presenting itself. At the time, clinicians in our local hospital were in the media complaining that COVID samples coming back from the field were of little use for testing after five or six days. This is because, of course, the infection period of the individual is waning at that point, and contact tracing is no longer a valuable tool. My calculations provided a solution to this problem. Without using artificial intelligence, and that's critical, triage of any kind, or any other predictive or forecasting model, I was able to demonstrate that the number of infections in the community, in theory, and you will see that the in theory is the operable term in this first example, in theory could be reduced by simply reconsidering the order in which field samples were introduced to the PCR test equipment. At this point, I must temper expectations somewhat. The math model clearly indicated that an improved operation strategy was conceivable, but the improvements predicted for the type of pandemic we were presently seeing were modest in the order of maximum a few percentage points. But I was not discouraged. I understood that for more severe pandemic parameters, the solution I was proposing was equally valid, and in fact, more impactful, potentially far more impactful, if measured as a percentage of, inf of infections mitigated under different circumstances. In plain language, what I was able to describe was the optimization of a fairly simple system. At the input was a rapidly varying queue, operating near its useful maximum. In the middle was a process. It could be any value adding process, but in the case I was examining, it was the testing of community COVID-19 samples being returned from the field. At the output of the process was a workpiece that had as one of its key necessary attributes, a quality that presented itself as a rapidly changing attribute. In this case, it was the usefulness for contact tracing, and it was presenting itself as a rapidly diminishing attribute in terms of usefulness. The innovation thus in general is one with numerous applications. Anywhere there are related rates problems and ongoing uh, on opposing ends of a process, an optimum can be calculated and tuned to operate dynamically in order to deliver on the residual bits of inefficiency the process is presently not providing, or shall I say, improving the efficiency of the process. And if you're wondering if artificial intelligence can be applied over top of these solutions, the answer is yes. AI would only increase the impact of these solutions. So where do we see this technology going? Well, a few of them, a few of the opportunities are shown on the screen, but they're, they're almost too, too numerous to count. 
Ideal applications involve anything with a best before date. COVID-19 is not the only illness best resisted with a program of contact tracing. Others include measles, tuberculosis, and HIV, just to name a few. What about the cold chain for vaccine distribution? Every multi-dose vaccine vial has a best before date on it. I suspect that if any ordering of these medicines is done at all presently, it will be a simple case to first in, first out in the refrigerating process. And truly, if this is the case, then we are not using our vaccines in our communities to their maximum efficacy. Not every application is going to be medical. You know, I can give you some very straightforward examples, uh, for example, in the food industry. Let's, let's consider an example where a baker has two lots of flour. One is five days old of quantity X, another is 10 days old of quantity Y. The baker is going to be selling his product on consignment. And he knows that spoilage in the field has a particular characteristic rate based upon whether five-day or 10-day flour is used. The flour itself, of course, can spoil as well. The question to the baker is simple. What flour do you use to bake with today? Again, the instinct will be to apply first in, first out, but that is not necessarily the optimal response. In the case of COVID-19, I've generated a working Python model capable of being integrated into a PCR machi machine's logic to act as a bolt-on or integrated feature which can potentially mitigate the number of infections in the community when, re when reproducibility numbers spike. I would be happy to meet with your team to discuss the possibility of including the solution in your PCR designs. For all other potential applications, I would be happy to modify the solution to suit the problem. Again, we'll take a look here at a few more examples on the screen. Uh, in the top left-hand corner, you can see uh, what might be a, a PCR machine and related uh, equipment. In the center, we can see somebody uh, taking COVAX materials out of a refrigerator. Obviously, this would be part of the uh, COVID-19 response and the cold chain associated with it. We can see in the upper right-hand corner, medications that are expired. In the, in the lower left corner, bread that is going to expire, or in the lower right corner, dairy products or other fluids that could potentially expire that are part of our food chain. What about brewing, distilling, or maybe in its broadest embodiment, what about process engineering in general? Anytime two reagents or two uh, substrates of a mixture are brought together, if they have a, a relative freshness to them and they are mixed, and they produce a product that as well has a characteristic freshness associated with it, then once again, there is going to be a right way and a right time to mix these products together. So really the, the solutions that we may be able to provide you are varied. As I've said, uh, we have rigorously tested them. Uh, we've codified, as I said, some of the most significant products, uh, some of the most significant problems in society today. And I believe we have many opportunities uh, to apply this technology and make progress on many fronts. So without further uh, uh, elaboration, I will simply say that again, my name is Kevin McGuire. I work at the John M. Thompson Center for Leadership and Innovation, the intellectual property representative from World Discoveries for this novel approach is Dr. Saqib Sachini. And we look forward to hearing from you about how we might be able to contribute efficiency to whatever it is you and your team are working on. Thank you.